You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. You already know. No, no, no. What's up, ladies? Hey, fellas. It's Naja Shell, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, because over here, girl, you're going to get all the vibes. Also, don't forget to hit your post notification bell so you can get more of me, Naja Nichelle. Y'all, so I have my friend Brittany here with me. A Brittany hey, Star. <laughs> I'm going to put all of her information on the screen. Today, we are going to have a new series on my channel, and she's my first guest. And it is called Cocktail Hour. Ooh. So basically, for Cocktail Hour, you tell your business, child. Mm. Tell your thoughts, your opinions, tell a story, whatever on your mind, on your heart. So I want y'all to go ahead and pour you up a drink, whether it's a glass of wine, make you a drink, mocktail, cocktail, whatever, so we can get into Cocktail Hour. Okay, so today on Cocktail Hour, I wanted to talk about what makes a good friendship for you. Mm. So I feel like... I, I, no, I want you to answer first. What do you consider makes a good friendship? Okay, um, for me, what makes a good friendship is how transparent I can be with you. How transparent I can be with you. That's how I know the level in which we can continue our journey. Because I have many friends, but I'm, I'm, I'm not as transparent as I am with all of them. So how transparent I can be with you is what makes a good friendship for me. The longevity, you know what I'm saying? The substance, that's what makes a good friendship for me also. The substance that you carry or that we carry together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like friendships have levels? Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I feel like what makes a good friendship to me is someone that I know I can trust. Um, someone I know got my back. And someone I can just be myself around. You know, I don't have to walk on pins and needles with you. Um, you're not just judgmental of certain situations I may tell you that I'm going through. Or if I tell you a situation, you're not ready to just throw it back in my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, and I do believe that there are levels in friendships because... <sighs> Some, sometimes I, I feel like we use the friendship a little bit too loosely because some people really just your associate. Oh, I have a comment to make about that. Go ahead. I hate that word associate. Ah! Okay. I know I'm Tell us why. Tell us why. Tell us why. I feel like if you have all those things you just listed, if you have all those qualities, you're my friend. You're my friend. Yes, yeah, true. But, and if you don't, you're not. And that's you're just, just not a you're friend. Just not okay. A okay. Because I feel like I have so many friends, mm -hmm. but I think how I do decipher out the levels is my best friend. Like I would mm -hmm. consider you to be my best friend, but I consider somebody else that I've been friends with equally as many years as you. Mm -hmm. Still a good person. Still don't judge me. But maybe like the amount of substance that we have between each other is not there. So I wouldn't consider them to be my best friend, but I would consider them to still be a friend. Okay. But associate, I just feel like that's like what you call your coworker. My coworkers are my coworkers. <laughs> I don't even let my coworkers follow me on social media. Mm -hmm. They can't have my personal phone number. Yeah. They don't even know my nickname. Mm -hmm. I don't even, at work, I'm not Naja, I'm Denasia. And and if you say, oh, I'm gonna call you Naja, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. You call me Denasia, because that's my name. Interesting. But that's just me. That's just me. I'm a little strict. I'm a little strict. But I mean, I guess. I never thought of it in the perspective of that's just not your friend. Yeah, that's just not my friend. Because I feel like I have level of friends, but I feel like some are more surface level. And then I have my friends that, Lord, if she told, she could, <laughs> she could make me go bury myself <laughs> <laughs> by telling my business. But it's crazy because we've been friends since 2015. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I have a friend I've been friends with since third grade, but I, y'all both like my sisters. Mm -hmm. So even though I've been friends with one longer than the other, it's like, even when me and her became friends, I wasn't her friend first. I was her friend's friends before I was her friend. Mm -hmm. And she actually worked with my friends before I worked with her. Right. So we met at work. And then we just, I don't even know how we ended up being friends. We left that job and went to another job together. 
We did. And then we ended up getting closer from that job, from working at the daycare together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, mm -hmm. we did, we did. Yeah, so, but we were already hanging out before then. But we accidentally became friends. We really did. Because I feel like a lot of times, people just want to be your friend because they're like, oh, she a cute girl. Like, I want to be her friend. And that is not enough to have a friendship. Mm -mm. And I'm, you know, I'm like a little pit bull. <laughs> I'm a lot to deal with. I feel like, <laughs> and this is just me, I feel like she's one of those people you have to know to love because she can come off. I feel like you can come off to people as if you're not nice, mm -hmm. but she is nice. Yeah. She's, she's very and nice. And it literally don't be, and what's crazy is I know this, and, but it don't be no no ill intent in my head. You know, I don't be thinking mean about nobody, bad. I'm just like a pit bull. Yeah. And like, I'm also loud. And then I'm also like straight to the point, no filter. What you see is what you get. Exactly. Like, so I think that that can be too much for some people. Mm -hmm. Really, like, it really can. And yeah, I just, I have never been able to change that about myself. So I'm just like, what you see is what you get. Yeah. But it's all love. It's I feel love. like, I, I guess I don't look that approachable, approachable, but I'm more like gentle. But if you know me, then you know I can get way past gentle. Mm -hmm. I can be a pit bull, but I try not to be a pit bull. But I don't know. I just feel like if y'all seen us out in public, you you will probably approach me before you approach her. Mm -hmm. You will, because I'm probably going to be like this. <laughs> but in her head, like, she's probably thinking like, la, 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 la. Literally. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, his shirt is cute. But I'm looking at him like, I'm, I'm looking at him like, your shirt cute as hell. That little boy was like, like, I want to kill, kill my mom. mom. <laughs> I'm so weak. Okay, yeah, that's me. I'm literally that little boy. I'm like, I want to kill everybody. But no, really, I want to hug everybody. <laughs> yeah, she is. I feel like, I don't know. I just know. I guess I just know from being around you. Like, mm -hmm. I just know she can kind of be hard to approach. Yeah. So, let me ask you this. With friendships, because we grow, we age, do you feel like someone that you have been friends with in the past, you could rekindle a friendship? Like, are you okay with rekindling a friendship that you at one point said, no, like we're no longer friends? Oh, this is a good one. Okay, in the past, yes. In the past, yes. Actually, yes. Um, I say yes because I am a firm, but I know me. I know what I have done. I know how God has changed my heart. So I believe God is capable of doing that to other people. And um, I will get, I'm, that's my issue though. That's been my biggest issue in life is I, I give people chances. I do, I give people chances after chances after chances after chances, child. I give people the benefit of the doubt. And, um, but nine times out of 10, if we're no longer friends at this point in life in 20, 2023, it was for a very good reason. So it just depends on honestly who it is. It depends on who it is today. But in the past, I would say just, yeah. I'm just like, okay, I'll see. I'll see if you change. You know, depending on how we fell out or how we stopped being friends will determine if I want to be friends with you again. Because nine times out of 10, I'm really, how, how I am, I am stern when I'm hurt. So I am a I am a bitch when I'm hurt. I am mean when I'm hurt. So you're a bitch. I am. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Even when you're not, hurt. I'm a bitch. So if we really, if, if depending on how we fell out, you really probably don't want to be my friend. Because <laughs> I probably done told your ass you you really you done, you don't push it too far. Yeah. So you won't even want to be my friend. You probably be terrified to be my friend again. So, but yeah, I say yeah because if you if you're strong enough to come back, you deserve it. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's yeah. Fair. What about you? With me, you're dead, you're done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. No. You have that attitude. Though. That's what's... I'm meaner than her, but you see how she's like one and done? And me, I'm like, okay, maybe you yeah, change. There is literally only one person ever that I have rekindled a friendship with. Mm -hmm. And that's because... that That's my best friend. Been my best friend since third grade. One time we had a falling out. But during the fallout, neither one of us ever told each other business, none of this kind of stuff. But truly, I just felt like, I don't really think the friendship was ever done. I was just hurt. No. And she was hurt, but we were too stubborn to communicate about it. Mm. But, you know, I've had a friend recently, last year, mm. that's like a sister to me. And when that 
dead, you're dead, you're done. When you decide the friendship is over, whether you decide or I decide it, there's no going back from it. Mm -hmm. That's just, it is what it is. Is it because you're hurt or is it because you just feel like it, it was meant to be? I just feel like because at this age, if you decide or for whatever reason we don't, like our friendship don't last, then why? Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like I'm too old to play the friendship game. Like you either my friend or you not my friend because one thing about it, in a friendship, I feel like there's no reason to break up. Mm -hmm. Because if you're upset, that's fine. Take your time. Mm -hmm. And then come back to me when you're ready. Yeah. But to break the friendship up, something something wrong with you. It, that's it. Mm -hmm. That goes for anything. Relationship too. You break it up, you done. Mm -hmm. You're dead, you're done. Yeah. But that's just me. Because, you know, like she said, she seems to be more meaner than I am, but she gives more chances. Versus me, I come off as more nice, but I, as, I have zero, zero tolerance for bullshit. But I think the communication be there, though. With me and my friends, when we be breaking up, it'd be like nobody say nothing to each yeah, other. Yeah, that's true. That's like true. me and one of my like best friends, we we had fell out and we stopped talking for years. Then we mm -hmm. came back and became friends again. And then this last time when we um, ended the friendship, it was no communication. It was just I ignored her. I didn't want to be her friend no more. But it was more like I didn't want to have another conversation about why I didn't want to be your friend. At this mm -hmm. point, this is the second time. Mm -hmm. And so I don't feel that I'm I'm big on like boundaries. I feel like if somebody crosses me and nine times out of ten they didn't know that they didn't know that, that was a boundary of mine. Right. So when I tell you it is and then you cross it again, then now it's on you. So that's like how I operate in general. It's like I give people the benefit of the doubt that they maybe didn't know how to treat me. So I feel like now if she were to come back to me and like say, you know, I did you wrong. X, Y, and Z, I understand why you maybe didn't respond to me. I would be like, yeah, and I want to keep it that way. You know, I would communicate that with her, yeah. but she wouldn't be dead to me. You know, I love her. I still love her to death, but we just too old. We too old to do this. So if it ended, it ended for a reason, especially the second time for me, at least. Mm -hmm. but yeah. That's a good question. That's fair, That's fair enough. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Cause me, you, baby, you going off everything. <laughs> Social media, my cell phone. See, I'm not like that. I see you come up on my memories, you delete it. Really? But, the, but the thing about it, though. But were y'all ever friends? If you can feel like that. Love it to death. I have a friend right now. You know, my mm -hmm. friend last year. I'm not, I swear, with everything in me, I, I want her to succeed in every aspect in life. Mm -hmm. Love it to death. But can we be friends? No. But if, why do you have to delete stuff? Mm-mm. Why you have to delete her off social media? Cause why? Because I really feel like I I wouldn't have deleted her. People be deleting me all the time. Every yeah, time but I, I would say she delete, she, me. she delete me first. So and then when she tried to add me back, I'm just like, eh, now I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. It's just like why? Wow, it's I don't crazy. We're the total opposite. I don't want to see what you got going on. Mm -hmm. If I'm not your friend, I don't want to see what you got going on because. One thing about me, I am a girl's girls. I love my friends to death. I'm their number one cheerleader. Mm -hmm. And if I'm following you on social media, I, I don't think I follow people that I don't like or interact with their stuff. So it's no reason for me to even have you on there because you don't even like Yeah, I'm not going to fake the funk and I don't want to fake it. And mm -hmm. I don't want to act like I want to fake it because I don't have nothing against you, but I don't care to see you or what you got going on. I wish you the best, but I don't care to see you. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I just feel like if that was your friend and y'all fell out over a misunderstanding, like what would make you like not like them anymore to the point where you don't want to see I her? I like her, I love her. But you don't even want to see her content. No, not at all. You're scared, it's like, get it. I like her, I love her, but I don't want to see. I just don't. But that's like with anything. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That makes it's... sense though. You did say you were mm -mm, done. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. I think that's just. And I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are the way you are, actually. You're not, you're not that different. Because I know so many people that are just like that. I think I'm just, like, really weird. I don't know where that comes from, though. I think it comes from you not wanting to be hurt again. It hurts you so bad you don't ever want to yeah. experience it again. And that's true because... Shit don't be hurting me. I think I'm very nonchalant. Even when I fall out with people, I'll be like... Bitch, please. If I, I, that's how mean I'm mean like that, though. See, and if I fall out with one of my friends, I literally got to go through, like, healing devotions. Yeah, I don't. Like, I'm just seriously. Because like, oh. I really do be hurt to my <laughs> core. Because I love my friends. Yeah, I, I really, really do. I really just be like, um, oh. I think you care, but you just not, you don't show your, like, 
you don't really show uh, feelings your like how you feel. You don't no. express your feelings. I can literally look at you and feel nothing. Because let me tell you, I can something. watch all your. I can see all your content. You know, I don't. We don't talk anymore. If you fine. if you buy me a gift, right? I'm gonna be like, oh my god, like I love this so much. Like I'm just going crazy extra. You're gonna be like, oh my god, she's so appreciative. If you give her the same gift and she really, really wants, she's gonna be like, oh, I really love this. Literally, and that's it. Me on Christmas. <laughs> me on Christmas. That's it. So you would think like, damn, she don't appreciate nothing I do. Da, da. And she really love it inside, but she just don't know how to show it. I just be like, ah. the emotions don't come out. Yeah. This is yeah. That's some, yeah. I, I that's that masculine side of me though. I just be real yeah. like hard up. Like, but I feel like you're working on it. I am. Like with my boyfriend, I'm I'm so more like emotional. Yeah. But I'm working yeah. on it too. Yeah, I am like that. Wow. So, do you believe in? So, what would you call? You know, people who have like content friends, like to do their social media and stuff. Mm -hmm. with. So, would you not consider that a friend since you know you don't do associates? What would that be like? A still a friend, mm -hmm. just a content friend, or a level, a certain level of friendship, maybe a lower level of friendship. Lower level of friendship, but I literally would just call them a friend. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. No, no other label on it. Oh, you're my friend. Literally, I have party friends, I have content friends, I have real friends, I have I have all these different things, but in my mind, I just don't register it like that. Or like when I talk about them with my other friends, like I just like, oh, my friend, da, da, da. But, you know, for me, it's like, I don't think nothing else of it. I just yeah. be like, yeah, we can make a content together. She my friend. Yeah. That's how I am. I but like, like I'm not as I don't I'm not as open with people like that though. Right. Even though That's like true. I'm still fun, I'm still me. But I mean, as far as like what you know about me, you're not gonna know what she know. But yeah. you're still my friend, like. Yeah, cause I have friends that I don't tell my business, mm -hmm. and they don't tell me their business. Yeah, you know, honestly. So, yeah. are you a friend? I mean, yeah, cause we we hang out, you yeah. know. I I got I think, for my love one. Like, how do you name somebody in your phone? Associate Brianna. No, cause I don't. Let Associate me tell you. Associate Brittany, friend Brittany. No, your <laughs> name is say. Brittany with the star by it. Oh. But, you know, I don't really put emojis, but I guess you can really tell, like, who... Okay, like, look at this. Okay, okay you see. see. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you see, like... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, that's so cute. I guess it's like... I didn't even realize I really do that, but... Yeah. Guess, you compartmentalize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> that's the way my my boyfriend's like, you need to learn how to compartmentalize. Why? I don't think like that. That's just how my brain works. Yeah, it's organized. Yeah. Your brain is very organized. Mm -hmm. Wow. My brain is mushy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna kill my After a commercial break. So, my last question, and it is about friendship still. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. I'm serious. When it comes to having friends, okay. Do you believe in like dating behind your friend? Mm, this is a good like one. okay, say for instance, okay, say for instance, I'm just gonna use me. This is not a true story. I'm just gonna use. An I'm example. gonna give a true story. <laughs> say for instance, I dated <laughs> this guy and we dated when I was like 19. Mm -hmm. Um, we never was intimate. But we dated, we went out on a few dates, we had a good time, but we never like made it that far. Maybe a little kiss or something, but we never made it that far. Oh, this is so good. Come round, we 25. And let's say he wants to talk to her. Uh -huh. Now, meanwhile, he don't really, she knows about him, but he don't really know about her because like I said, we never made it that far. So as soon as he reach out to her, she might, I guess, might be feeling him. So mm -hmm. she reach out to me like, is this okay? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, would you be upset about that or are you okay with that or like what's your perspective? I'ma just say this. <laughs> a bitch that's my best friend, she got one time to run after me. She got one time to run after me. You got one time to run after me. That's it. That's when I'm done. I don't play about my men. I don't play about them. I don't play about a kiss, a hug, a nothing. <laughs> but I will tell y'all a story. I did run after one, run behind one of my friends before, but let me tell y'all how it happened. 
I've been knowing this person for years, long before she knew this person. This person been trying to talk to me long before her. And this was also a friend that was a bottom tier friend, mm -hmm. a party friend. And she was sleep just sleeping with this boy. He never took her on a date. He never took her out. She was just a she was just a hookup. Okay. I knew this though. You know, I do I did I knew this. And you know, years passed and this boy he's still at me as he'd been for years. And um he took he wanted to ask me if he could take me out. And he was looking real good. And I was real single. And I was like, dang. Someone so show did with this, you know, end it up. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> but I want to, I, I, I like him. He's, he's talking to me real nice. You know, he always been respectful. So I went on a date with him. And I went on more dates with him. And I really liked him. And yeah, I dated him. And I didn't like him. It didn't work out. And um, that was it. But we weren't friends anymore. Me and her weren't friends. And this is the friendship that I knew was dead because of how it ended. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, but she wasn't my close friend. I feel like I didn't like that I did that, but at the same time, I didn't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a problem with it because of what who it was, but y'all have to also remember, I classify everybody as my friend. So right. it just depends. Like this type of friend, I just think it's weird. Even if it's a boy she kissed in high school and I knew mm -hmm. about it, I would never. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if I know this is the type of friend who sleep around with everybody, she probably gonna sit with her man, my man. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't owe her any type of loyalty, you know. So that's that's my spell on that. Okay, mm -hmm. I actually agree. I agree, and I have. I don't believe in like dating behind my friends. Although I have before, mm -hmm. um, and it was an instance, sort of like she dated him in high school and then older. Neither one of us ever like slept with a guy or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like him. No. I, I I went on a couple of dates with him, but I didn't like him. But I just feel like. Now, I kind of like what that looks like for me now is way different because truly in my heart, it, especially my my top level friends, okay, mm -hmm. my best friends, who it, I could think this man, it could be a man in front of me, he could be fine as hell, but the moment I know that you had her, you was no longer fine to tell. I don't mm -hmm. know, it just takes it away from me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's no longer there. I can see that. Yeah, like, no. But good thing is, me and my friends, we are not attracted to the same kind of guys. Mm -mm. We all have different types. Mm-mm. 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 We literally, like, we all have different I types. I mean, me he and totally different. Too. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> gonna have to watch them you gotta watch them i'm sorry gotta watch, gotta them. watch them you gotta watch you gotta them. watch them <laughs> but okay so hmm, i think that was good yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video of us just sitting here talking because this what we do anyway um if you like the video make sure that you hit that like button also if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and make sure you follow her channel once again i'll put it across the screen and so yeah um this was great. I Cheers to your too. first series and also your first episode of the series. Yeah, of Cocktail Hour. Woo. So thank y'all so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Love you.